Hey, welcome back. We're going to be looking at how to use a template or a theme of something to help you with elemental page production. I don't really use templates. I'll be honest here. I like to build from scratch because I'm crazy and I like to have total control over what I do. That's just the way I roll people. But if you're trying to meet a deadline or get some inspiration or share something to your client because you want them to give you an idea of what kind of style they're looking for, Templates can be a great God saver, okay? They can really help you out with trying to understand how a page should look, how it could look with different features, and what you're trying to achieve at the end of the day. I mean, this is massively important when you're doing your wireframe, when you're designing your website, but there's tons of free stuff out there. Now, for the focus of this video, we're only gonna be looking at free template resources, okay? There are loads of other resources out there, really good premium stuff, Croco Blocks, um, Invanto, that we're gonna mention in here in a moment, but there's tons of good stuff you could use, all right? However, I'm trying to cater for those that maybe have a tight budget and they just want a free template. Why? Because if you're not sure of what you're going for and you spend $30, $40 on a template, and then you realize later, actually, I want something different, that's another $30, $40 or pounds. Of course, if you're very innovative, you could take that template, modify it to suit what you were trying to achieve. But if you're short on time, sometimes you don't wanna be spending too much money, right? So let's look into this. By the way, I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. Please do like, subscribe and follow us. We love to teach you about Elemental WordPress and how to get the best out of it to help you your client and your business, okay? So please stick around and to subscribe because we love to have it when we have subscriptions. Right, so I've got a blank page here and I'm gonna hit the ground running with the templates that you all know. If you use Elemental, you should know about these, okay? It is the template library. Now, when you go to a new page or a new section, you're gonna have a gray folder over here. You click the folder and you wanna have access to pages, blocks, and templates. Of course, my templates is gonna be your own template, or maybe it's a template that you've purchased or someone has provided for you or you've downloaded. You can get, you can access them here after you import them. But Elementor gives you tons of good templates here. You know, this is a great starting place if you're trying to think of something to do, like a photography site or a music site or just anything like, look, some of these look really wonderful. Like I remember when I first saw this before I had Elemental Pro and I was like, wow, how did they create this amazing page? But you could, whoa, what have I done? What have I done? You could insert that, okay? And the template library is full of resources, okay? This is here for you straight off the bat, okay? Elemental Pro, you've got access to it. You do have access to it in Elemental Free as well but the Pro gives you access to a lot more features. And of course, if you're not bothered about the pages, you've got all of these as well. And again, if you've got Pro, you get access to a lot more blocks than just having free. So hero banners, call to actions, headers, footers, testimonials, subscribe team, you name it, it's all here for you. And it's not, there's nothing wrong with inserting a template and then modifying it. I sometimes find that when you do that, you spend more time trying to undo and reset what you see. So I like to build from scratch. But if you need inspiration for how to present your teams, like maybe you decide you're not gonna do pictures, but you're gonna go with just names. Well, here's a style for you. Insert it, modify the content, grow it, shrink it, do what you want with it. You're good to go. So this is all provided for you with the powers of Elementor. Then. We also have alternative plugins like, and I've got to make sure I click on the right one now here, Invanto Elements, okay? Um, this is premium for lots of funky super stuff, but they do have free templates as well. So go to your plugins, find Invanto, Invato, Invato. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I always say Invato. So please correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But Invato Elements, it's free plugin. You install that and activate it. Once you've done that, if we go back to our page, you'll now have this green icon appear when you go to add in a new section. And when you click this, it is now gonna give you access to, well, we have premium kits, which you're not gonna do unless you pay for it. We have free kits, 
and we have three blocks as well. So just like we had blocks with Elementor, we've now got blocks again with Envato. So we already looked at the team one. I just did and then clicked on it. What do they have here? Well, look, there's loads of new funky blocks here. And there may be one here that you go, ah, I really like the look of this one. So you might now insert that onto your page and then again, modify, expand it, shrink it, do what you want with it. Free kits. I mean, th there are some, I mean, this is gonna be quite basic. You're not gonna get a huge amount because they obviously want you to pay to get the good stuff. But you have got some useful templates here that I think are gonna really get your mind buzzing. I mean, look, you know, have a look at some of these. They might inspire you. They might give you some ideas. You might decide, okay, I'm looking for, let's go for sport, okay? What kind of sport templates? Oh, look, yoga and meditation. Great, let's have a look at that, preview it. By the way, you know, there'll be loads of different pages there, you know, and you can decide what page you want. So let's just go for this, right? Yoga and meditation. Let's preview it. And what you're now going to see is all of the pages that come with it. Now, you don't have to use every single page. You can use what page you want to use for your home page. So you might say, I'm going to use that one for the home page. I might use that one, which is called home, but I might use that for my about page. I might use this page for something else. I mean, look, that, I mean, look at this, our team. That is a really lovely, soothing um, page for yoga and meditation. I, I quite like it. You know, so it's a great starting block and this is free. Hello, it is free. Right, so that was in Vato. Right, let's just come out of that. Let's come out of that because I'm in the preview. Am I in the preview? Yeah, I'm in the preview. Let's come out of that. What we then also have is the starter template. Very commonly, you know, when you install Astra, you get access to this straight off the bat. But if you're not using Astra and using Hello, you can go ahead and use this as well. OK, start a template for Elementor. And again, you just activate it and install it. And when you go back to your page, you'll now have this icon appear. So you've got columns, Elementor templates, Invator, Elementor templates, and then you've got the starter templates. Let's click that again. There are some really, really cool, nice templates here. The free ones. Premium, you're going to have to pay for. Okay, you've got to pay a subscription. Um, 50, 60, 70, 80, $5,000. It's not really that amount. But, you know, you're paying money. And again, do you want to be putting out a lot of money? Unless your client is very specific on a look. And you're, you haven't got the time to build from scratch. You should have the time. But you haven't. This could be an option for you. But again, look, I'm going to go in here and pick free. Who doesn't know this one? Nearly every video I see out there on WooCommerce tends to use something like this template. And I'm not a massive fan of the look of this, but it's a very common template. But look, there are some great starting templates here, um, you know, like shop views and all of that. And I think some of these are, I actually used a lot of these to learn how to get better with Elemental. I would take a template, look at it, look at the structure, well, how do they do that? And how do they do this? And how do they get the image to overlap? And you learn how it's doing. And then, boom, your brain explodes. And, you're, and you go away and do your own stuff, your own stamp on how you're going to do a page. But look, there are some good pages here. Nice, lovely stuff that you can utilize. Of course, you're not going to use the same images that they have. You might do, but I would probably say don't because someone else's website might look exactly the same as yours. That's where people have been a bit lazy, but you're probably going to modify the text, obviously, the content, the images and things like that. But it's a great starting point. Right. So I've just gone over some of the three most common areas that you're probably going to be accessing a lot of your templates from. Like I said, template monster, croco blocks. There's loads of other areas out there where you can go and get themes. Um, Theme forest, you know, there's loads of areas where you can get stuff, but just have a think about, is it better to go with a free one or do you want to pay for one? Now, let's also look at some other options. Now, this plugin you may not know much about. I'm just going to close down Invanto and the other one. Everse. This is a pretty relatively new one, okay? It's got no reviews yet. It's only got 400 active installations, but it's pretty damn new. WordPress Everse starter sites for Elemental. It's very new, but I'm just going to show this to you. By the way, I'm not affiliated to any company or theme I'm showing you here. Any links I put below are going to be for areas to get templates. 
which are not a plugin, but this is a plugin, right? I'm not affiliated to anything. You do what you want with it, okay? I'm not asking you to pay any money whatsoever, nor am I paid for this. Once you've installed this, it does not appear on your page over here. What you've got to do is go to appearance and you will then see eVerse starter sites. By the way, starter templates there, that's to do with uh, the starter templates one that we already have got on the page. Everse starter sites. Watch this. There are some pro templates here, okay? We're not bothered about the pro, but let's just look at the free. You don't get a huge amount, okay? Look, there's, there's only uh, 11. There's only 11 templates. However, again, these are really good starting sites. So again, another free resource, and I'm pretty sure this will grow. I, I'm putting money on it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be growing because they've just started out, but this is going to grow bigger. And look, you've got, again, another way of doing a sports website. It's not massively exciting, but again, it is a starting block for you. So again, Everse, if you want to go down that route, let's just close that one down. Okay. Now, let me now go over some other areas where you can get some pretty good templates. Okay. The first one, and I will put links to this in the description freeelementalwordpress.com. This has got loads of features already loaded. I don't like it when you get a theme. Sorry, I mean a template that's got Revolution Slider or other things involved. I have nothing against Revolution Slider. I don't use it. I have a thing about sliders. I don't want to use Revolution Slider. When you get a template that's already got it within, I hate that. I'd rather put it in if I want to use it. And sometimes you got to kind of let forgive that there are going to be typos on here. OK, I don't you know, I, I let that go. I worry more about what is the content like. Right. So if we start to look at some of these demos, they've got a Sapphire demo or like they've got three templates. Again, you're going to look at these and you might say, well, there's nothing majorly amazing here. Like, you know, is this really, really that good? But some of their WooCommerce shop templates they have on here, like this one. And this one over here in a Catalyst demo, they are actually really, really nice. They're actually quite good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, um, let's go for this one, the Canvas demo. And I'm going to click download. Now, before you go to download, it actually then shows you lots of different versions of that. So we've got now like a shop template, but different versions. Zircon demo, Ruby, Catalyst, um, you know, it's, what do these names mean? I don't really know. Now, this one. Um, I've only got two more to go with yet, and I'm coming on to the last one is the one that I go, wow, it's huge in the amount of stuff you get with it. The free elemental templates on here, which is mcstarters.com, okay, they have some pretty nice looking templates again, okay, they are very varied, um, go in, have a look, do a search for something you're after, they don't really let you search, that's one annoying thing, but... If you take like this page here with yoga, um, agency, um, plumber, you know, photographer, there's stuff on here for you to use. And again, this is another free resource that I would definitely recommend. Now, let me come on to the one that I'm the most like blown away with. WPBuilt.co forward slash all templates. Link will be in the description. So don't sit there scribbling going, I must remember this. No, you don't. Right. When you first go to it, you're going to sit there going, where are the templates? What is this? Where are the templates? This is a lie. You've conned me. No, don't worry about that. You could either search straight away for a template or you could just pick one from down here. Now, I am just going to pick. I mean, what, it, what this does is it brings in basically all of these areas, right? Let me just expand. The, let me just zoom in on my screen so you can see this better. Look. It's bringing in the templates from Elemental, Theme Forest, Astra, Ink Fiend, Generate Fresh, Cake, blah, 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 You know, some of these I've never heard of. It's bringing in tons and tons of stuff. Right, let's just reset the page back to zero. Control zero, command zero, whatever you use is how you get back to 100% if you didn't know that. I'm going to go for health and fitness. I kind of nicheified it a little bit too much. Right, so here we go now. Okay, and now we've got loads of templates popping up on the page. And it goes on and on and on and on. On the right hand side, you have Bundle Pro Premium. Now, if you go for any of these, Premium Pro, whatever, you are going to have to pay something. So you can click it 
And as soon as you try and get hold of that template, it's going to take you over to Invato or CSS Igniter or wherever it takes you. And you're going to have to pay to get that theme or template. Because if you have to pay for it there, why wouldn't they charge you for it here as well? What I then do is I pick free. Okay. And this is where, even though I picked health and fitness, it's now replaced, it's taken that off, chucked it out the window. And now I'm only seeing the free templates. I want you to understand if you search for a category, you're going to see premium, pro, whatever, and the free. If you're only interested in the free, just go through to a category. You'll then see the option to pick free, pick free. And now you can start to mess around. Look, book author, um, brand store, business coach, you know, look. And, and what I love, I mean, um, this reminds me of um, premium add-ons where they have a widget where when you hover over the image, it will scroll up and down if you've got a big one page screenshot. But let's go to book author. Let's see what it's like. It's going to open up super, super fast. And here we have the theme. So we can look at this and go, well, it's not very book author-ish, is it? Where's your book? You know, oh, there's your book. I lied. It is there. But this is something that you could then download, go through the demo, see if you like it, have a look at it. Here's another good one, restaurant kit. Um, this is free, by the way. This uh, this actually is a pretty nice looking um, website. I was looking at this one uh, a couple of weeks ago for someone. You know, you, you probably will recognize this if you've seen it on any of these starter templates or something. But again, if you're after a template that has nice features, motion effects or whatever, um, bear in mind though that some of the templates will have had SEO and optimization in performance considered when they built it. Some don't. So don't just think, oh, well, this is perfect. If you do install it, test it out, modify it a bit, check your page speed, insight score, and how does this look on a mobile, and tinker with it to make sure you don't don't ruin your don't ruin your page speed score just for the look of something, unless the look of it overpowers the page speed score, but you're gonna know more than that. But what I just want to get across over here is that WP Built is a fantastic resource. I think, in my opinion, let's just click number four. What, what does it show us now when we go to number four? Dental clinic, wedding invitation, lawyer, testimonial block, shop block, portfolio block, e-commerce block. Look at this. You know, there's some pretty nice stuff going on here. Like, I like that one, the tour block there. That's obviously an image. But look, there's good stuff here. So... Elementor, you know, you've, you've got it there. You've got your Invato. You've got your starter templates. There's a few other websites, but if you really want to get dirty with a website, that's going to give you tons and tons of stuff. Then quite frankly, WP Bill is just going to give you a massive audience. And this is a great way maybe when you say to a client, do you maybe want to pick a look for your website or what, what, what speaks to you? Tell them to click free and away, you know, send them the link and away they go. And you might want to say to your client, just because that is an electrician website, right, and you're a dentist or a doctor or a vet, do not think this is just for electricians. If you like the look of this and how it's presented, fine, we modify the content to work for you and your business. So I hope you found this useful in terms of free templates for Elementor. Look, I hope you like this. So please give a like. Please leave a comment. I love to read. I do respond. You know, check it out. I do respond. Um, please, please, please subscribe. It means a lot to us. You know, it helps us to feel empowered about what we're doing and to keep going on. And do follow us. And, you know, do send a question if you need any help from us. But look, you take care. I'm Imran Web Squadron. And I shall see you soon.